Don't let me drown Don't let me drown Oh my god, that looks so cool. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, hello, my name's Lydia and I make mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. Now, before you all comment, Lydia, what is all that on your face? Basically, when I was in hospital, I got attacked. So, Lydia, what are we talking about today? Today I want to have a conversation about chronic fatigue and mental illness. Now I know a lot of you guys, and especially those of you who follow me on Twitter and who I talk to on Twitter, also have chronic fatigue due to having mental illness. For me, it's caused by my BPD. My BPD pushes me into overdrive a lot of the time. Because of being in overdrive, I get very, very exhausted. I was, I've been working on the video for about a week now where it's like me introducing myself and all the different types of personality I have in me at different points for different things and I don't know it's quite an interesting video I think so far. Chronic fatigue. What is it? Chronic fatigue is a chronic health condition. I want to quickly throw this out there and this is like factual information I did my research. BPD is very common to occur with chronic health issues such as fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia chronic fatigue and other chronic health health issues. Me, I just have chronic fatigue and insomnia which oh. chronic fatigue, BPD and insomnia as a combo. I have to take sleeping tablets even though I'm constantly exhausted. Like, the level of exhaustion I feel I literally can't put into work. I don't do a lot in my days. A lot of the time I'm lying down in bed because I just don't have the energy to get like I physically cannot get out of bed because I feel so de-energized, completely exhausted. Everything that I do in, in, in a day. Chronic fatigue is something that people don't really talk about. And when they do talk about it people think they just mean exhaustion. Chronic fatigue is so much more than just feeling tired. Physical, like you can't move a limb, you you cannot physically do it. Extreme, horrible. Like, I literally wouldn't wish it on anyone. And I know a lot of other people who struggle with mental health that have, who struggle with mental illness have, have chronic fatigue as well. All of dissociative identity disorder tend to have a body, the vessel, body that these authors live in. It, gets fatigued. So much going on and I know especially with BPD. Um, being someone who's in the BPD community and talks to a lot of people in the BPD community, I can tell you chronic fatigue goes hand in hand with BPD. Believe me. There's literal studies on it and I'll try and link some of them in the description down below. I think what goes with it really from BP the BPD side, you are thinking so and so fast that you can't even keep up with yourself and your body is trying to keep up the speed with everything else that's going on in your head and it exhausts itself even if it's not actually doing anything because you're using up all this energy to think and even though you're not physically doing anything it still takes up power up basically. Think of your body as a battery and your mind is taking up all the energy that the battery is providing. There's nothing left for the body to have so it's just fatigued and it's exhausted and it just can't do anything. And everyone experiences it differently. For me, when I do experience this on a daily basis, this is a daily thing for me. That's why you don't really see me going out and about as much as I used to because it's just got worse as time's gone on. When my BPD is bad and when I'm thinking very quickly, I'm probably at my most tired point. Pretty much always in bed, which is where I am right now, I'm sat at my dad. And I've been lying down for like two hours. I went to Aldi to get a drink. I literally went to get a drink and I come back and I didn't I just lay in bed and I was like, I'm just absolutely exhausted. Didn't have the energy. Still don't have the bloody energy. I've been set up to do this and because I need to take my medication. And then I'm going to bloody bed because I'm I just thought that this was a video I could make. I thought this was a video I could make that I think a lot of you'll be able to associate with and understand and maybe if you're new to the BPD world or this whole community as a whole and you're always like completely fatigued maybe it'd give you some insight as to why I'm not saying that this is always the case I'm not a professional do not use this video as a diagnosis tool as always I am just a person who experiences a fuck ton and decides to share it on the internet I think I just define my life very well <laughs> and with that I'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon don't let me drown Don't let me drown